Hey, Vinny Bueno here. I'm a video strategist, filmmaker, and educator. In today's video, I'm gonna help you and teach you how to create a successful video strategy for your business. There's three questions that I ask clients before we even get starting to creating a strategy. The number one question I have is, what is their emotional response or reaction that you are expecting your viewers to have when they have seen your video? The second question is, what do you want them to do after they've watched your content? A lot of times people just say, hey, well, go to my website, see what else I have, or they even send them to the exact same, same page where for them to watch the videos that are similar to what they've actually just seen as an audience member. I'm not saying those approaches are wrong, but what I'm saying is I have an approach that is even better, that even guarantees for the audience to go directly to where you want them to be. Over the last 10 years, I've developed this formula called the A-second formula. In this formula, what it does is it creates engagement, curiosity, and most importantly, action after a person has seen this first video. The first video that anyone or an audience member that encounters your brand, your company, your services, is an A-second video. And what's that a second video look like? Well, the a second video is supposed to be a teaser. It's supposed to get to the point. It's supposed to get people excited. And most importantly, it's supposed to cause someone to respond in an emotional way. A lot of times when we're on our phones, we're constantly just scrolling through and finding and waiting for something to stand out to us. It could be a, a person skateboarding, it could be a dog skateboarding, or it could be someone doing a trick you know, throwing a basketball behind their head and then, and then having that ball make into the hoop. You know, I understand that not all companies will utilize social media in the way that is kind of meant for, which is entertainment and, and highly engaging content. We know when a content stands out to us, we know when a content doesn't do anything for us. Think about content that you've shared with your friends or family versus content that you've just kind of forgotten about. Like what, what is it about those content that made you share? What is it about those content that you clicked on learn more or you went to their website and you learned more about the information they had to offer? Or even better yet, what made you see a content or product video and then you decide to buy that product? And that's what the A-second formula does, that little teaser. And so, after someone has watched an A-second te teaser, which has, you know, you get to the point, you show the most exciting part of your, con of your product or services, and then the next video that someone sees, it is a 30-second video. And it goes a little more detailed of like what the product is, what the service is, and then you lead them to your website. It's important to send people to your website because your website's a place with, that you control and they're only seeing content that you have told them to see. I always talk to people that it's better to send people to your website to watch more content or to engage with you rather than having people go to your social media channels for them to see what else you have posted. Guess what? People are already going to your social media channel. You don't have to tell them that because if they see something that, they send, that stands out to them, they're gonna to go to your social media channel, they're gonna, look, they're gonna learn more. But how do we get them to your website? And so that's where the next thing comes in place. The next thing is repurposing your content. If you have, say, a blog post, or you've been featured in a news article, or national television, or even just local television, make sure those content that feature you or your product is housed within your website or housed within more videos that you give within your social media platform. People want to be excited. If someone engages with one of your content, let them continue engaging with more. The way that I view marketing is a conversation. You know, when you meet someone, when you meet a stranger, you say, hey, how are you doing? And you have a conversation. A lot of times, you don't just say, hey, how are you doing? How's your day going? And you start asking with their family because you don't know them that way. 
But if you introduce yourself, say, hey, hi, my name is Vinny Moyer. I noticed that you like Nikes. Guess what? There's a connection there. So I'm always trying to find the connection points for us to start a conversation. And video is the exact same way. You visually see something, you say, oh, that's curious. I'm curious in that, I wanna learn more. And so, I always say this is that content that was published 10 years ago, even 30 years ago, it's still relevant to the right audience. I understand that if you are a tech company and you have certain updates, maybe you don't wanna show those videos or those blogs you talk about version beta 2.0 or something, but it also shows the journey. So if you have those things up still, it also shows the journey. And focus on the success. If, if you, say if your company hit a milestone 10 years ago, have it there. Maybe you hit a milestone. Have your accomplishments there for people to celebrate, people to see. And at the end of the day, you're allowing folks to get to know you and your brand a little bit more. Number three, how do you create a successful video strategy? This is how I like to break it down. I look at what is the product solid? Then I look at the niche of the audience, and I look at what the audience wants. I'm gonna speak in hypotheticals right now. Imagine you have a service, say you help run events, and you're a great event planner. And so let's talk about how can you create a video strategy that makes sense to you? Well, let's talk about you informing your audience about current trends. You informing your audience about how you can customize their events for them. I always say it's better to show than tell. It, say if you're a hairstylist, yes, you can have tons of photos of before and afters, or even, or even in the process, videos of having your clients you know, go from stage one to stage two, the reveal. What I would suggest is adding in one little thing. So if you're a hairstylist, I recommend creating a strategy around the different hair textures and the importance of utilizing certain conditioners or shampoos for this type of hair structure. At the end of the day, I believe that content is supposed to do either one or, one or three of these things, which is, which is to educate, excite, and entertain. I want to give an example of B2B. So if you work with the mainly business, businesses, business to business, if you have a service or a product that services a business, how are you going to differentiate yourself? Well, with businesses, what do they really care about? Just having the resources on time and for the services to do what it was meant to do. And number three is to continue the updates, keeping the businesses informed of latest trends, and also where, where their services is going. I find that a lot of times B2B companies think of themselves as like a, as like a, as like a continuous partner. And I think it's great to think of themselves that way, but at the end of the day, business is business, and relationships are relationships. And so it's really important that to keep your partners your clients informed of the different changes or different new ways that you're looking to better your services. If you are a photographer and you're trying to get new clients, how can you utilize a video strategy to actually help you get those new clients? First off, there's a lot of photographers online doing amazing things you know, with the TikTok reels, sorry, TikToks and then social media, and then Instagram reels and YouTube shorts. I like to say, focus on your community. In a global sense, everyone is doing a lot of different videos, showing their work, showing their artwork, which is amazing. But there's less focus, in my opinion, on art artists or um, 
people that do art services showing their work in a local way. So an example, I have an art friend, I have a buddy who does paint, and I told him a couple weeks ago, I was like, hey, if you really think you want to sell more paint, I think it's really important to take one of your artwork and go post up, post up near like the busiest street, and then do a video there. Be like, hey, here I am in XYZ, I did this, I did, I did this um, artwork and I wanted just to hang, I wanted just to be out here holding this up for the world to see for 45 minutes. You, won't make a, you probably won't make a sale by having someone stop you and asking you if they can buy your painting, but I guarantee that if you do a couple of videos of you know, people's reaction, them seeing you, individuals that are looking at, looking at those videos, they're gonna go to your website and be like, hey, I actually wanna support these artists. It's the curiosity that gets people through the door. It's your story and it's your differentiator that actually allows people to stay and continue having that conversation with you. And so a video strategy for me looks like this. I pick three days throughout the week and I say, hey, I'm gonna create content to post a video, the eight second video, then a longer video for those three days. So essentially you are creating two videos for they can be they can be posting for two days. And then you do a longer video that kind of talks about your company and what, what is it that you do and what is it you actually care about. At the end of the day, we all want to make money. We all are either being sold to or we're selling ourselves. And so it's really important that the way that you come across is genuine and approachable and excited. You have to be excited about your own craft or else no one's going to be excited about it. So that's how I would handle a video strategy standpoint, choosing three days throughout the week and posting two videos, one eight second video, one 30 second video, and then leading people to your website. The fourth thing I wanna talk about is programs and applications to make your life easier when it comes to creating video content. Here's a list of apps that I highly recommend for you to use and just check out. You know what I always tell people, some, a client of mine was like, I don't have a computer, it's so hard work trying to figure out how to edit. I'm like, hey, use this. And this app that I just listed here, that are right here, they all work on this. And you can see next to them which ones are free and which ones are paid. You don't need a professional camera to, especially in 2020, you don't need a professional camera to create video content. And so that's what I'll leave you with. And I'll, I'll give a bonus. Here's a bonus. When you are creating your content, always think about the emotions that you're trying to create. Think about the emotions that you want someone to, to have when they look at your video. Show, don't tell. You can tell, but just show more than tell. I'm gonna leave you off with that. I hope this was informational, and I'm excited to see the type of content you're creating. And if you have any questions, just please feel free, feel free to DM me, message me, let's talk, and let's continue this conversation. We'll chat. Bye.